Guess what? What? Well, after we added that menu, our product manager called. Ooh. Apparently, the marketing team wants to display more types of cheese bikes than we can fit in a single list in our menu. What do we do? Well, the product manager wants us to organize our menu into submenus as a set of section headers containing hidden links. When the user clicks a section header, the corresponding submenu should expand and reveal the links inside. When the user clicks the section header again, the submenu should close, hiding the links it contains. That's a pretty good idea. So in this exercise, we'll add those nested submenus to our navigation. We'll practice finding components to meet our requirements. And we'll start using components inside other components, also called component composition. We want nested menus that open when items are clicked. The documentation for AMP sidebar doesn't explain how to implement a nested submenu. So we'll need to find another component that we can use in conjunction with AMP sidebar, something that gives us the ability to add a collapsible submenu. If we search online for UI collapsible content, we see several results for something called an accordion. Accordion components expand or contract when they're clicked. That is exactly what we need. Conveniently, if you look through the list of AMP components in the layout section, you'll see a handy component called AMP Accordion. The AMP Accordion component contains one or more section tags. Each of those sections must contain two tags. First, the header, and second, the expandable content. Initially, only the header is displayed. Clicking it shows the expandable content. Click it again, and that content gets hidden. Now, we're going to put AMP accordions inside of our AMP sidebar. We actually combined components in the beginning course. We just didn't call it that. Do you remember when we placed AMP image inside of our AMP carousel? In the same way, we can place an AMP accordion inside AMP sidebar. We'll put them together to create a slide out nested navigation menu. When the menu is open, we'll just see the header of each accordion until it is expanded. When the menu is closed, the accordions will disappear along with it. So now, use the documentation for AMP Accordion to add our submenus. Convert the Our Bikes list item in the AMP sidebar into an expandable list that contains links to all our bikes, the Ricotta Racer, the Cheddar Chaser, and yes, the Parmesan Pacer. Next, Convert the latest models list item in the AMP sidebar to another expandable list, this one containing a link to Ricotta Racer, the notorious and new cheese bike. To style this, give your list component a layout type of container and the class dropdown. Add a nav dropdown class to the li tags that contain the expandable lists. Add a dropdown items class to the ul elements and a drop-down item class to each nested li tag. Again, if that's a lot of instructions, you can always refer to the course text on the AMP site. Now pause the video and try this out. And here's the solution. We can't fit all of this on screen, but here's how the AMP accordion fits inside the AMP sidebar. Notice the new class we added on the li tag that encloses the AMP accordion. And here's what's inside the AMP accordion itself. We can't fit all the li's on the screen for every menu item, so we provided just one for you to show how it would look. As usual, remember to add the extended component script for AMP accordion in the head tag as shown on screen. <laughs>